Mm, he's handling it extremely well. Has it made a sound? Not even a slight grunt or hiss of pain. He looks normal except for the beads of sweat on his forehead. Thank you, Elder. Ancestors watch over you. Well, it's official. You're the first non-Lynx to ever be inducted into our tribe, Hunter. I have to say, you handled the tattooing ceremony perfectly. I bet even the Elder was impressed. The sap from the firebite flower is quite potent. Several within the tribe have howled, hissed, and cursed during the ceremony. <laughs> One Lynx even jumped ten feet into the air. No, of course it wasn't me. For your information, I handled the ceremony perfectly. Of course it's the truth. I'm an outstanding Lynx after all. Lying would be next to impossible for me. Anyway, I assume you paid careful attention to the Elder's lecture? You know the one she gave you just before the ceremony regarding the meaning and sacred importance of the tattoos you now bear on your left forearm and hand? And of course, there are deep ties to our traditions and culture. So, if anyone were to ask, you'd instantly spit out the answer. Right? <laughs> That's quite commendable of you, Huntsman. I thought for sure that you'd be so focused on your looming brush with the firebite sap that paying attention to the Elder's words would have been next to impossible. I'm sorry, what was that? I couldn't quite hear you. Here, let me get my ear closer. Maybe then I'll hear what you're trying to say through the crow in your mouth. <laughs> okay, okay. I was pushing it. But in my defense, you're awfully cute when you're flustered. Er, yes, I did just say that. Uh, <clears throat> here, let me fill you in on the meaning of your new tattoos. But this time, do try to pay attention. Hmm. Otherwise, we'll be here all day, and you'll be known in the tribe as the Scattered Brain Hunter. See, these two lines... Uh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to poke them. Oh, the burning sensation is back. Uh, okay, I have an idea that might soothe the pain, but I'm not sure how it'll work on a human. Follow me, Huntsman. It's just a 10 minute walk to the river. Watch out for that root, Huntsman. That thing tripped me hundreds of times when I was a small kitten. Ah, here we are. Go have a seat on the log near the water's edge. I'll join you shortly. Where is that plant? Come on, Rhea, they're in pain. I need your help. Oh, when I don't need this stuff, it's everywhere. But by the ancestors, on the rare occasion I need it, there's none to be found. Aha! I thought you could hide from the best hunter in the region. I'll be right with you, Huntsman. Okay, let me see your arm. Don't worry, I'll be much more careful not to touch your tattoos directly this time. Oh, these? These are all the leaves. We lynxes use them to treat burns and cuts. Their oil soothes pain and speeds along the healing process. Let's just hope they have the same effect on humans. There, how's that? The pain is letting up? Good. Hmm. 
I have to say that the Elder's work is perfect. She's been tattooing ever since the tribe first reached these woods. And your lack of fur didn't seem to give her any difficulty. Yeah, you still have no idea what they mean. <laughs> okay, but this time I'll show you using the ones on my arm. Firebite sap causes the fur to grow back darker, so the tattoos become part of our fur pattern, see? Notice how these two lines that run the length of my forearm are thicker near my elbow but gradually narrow into the points in which they reach my wrist? Hard to miss. Har har. They represent fangs, the symbol of my, of our tribe. Any lynx that sees them will know which tribe you belong to. Mm -hmm. Every lynx in the tribe gets these, but they're usually received at a younger age. <laughs> I guess you're a late bloomer. Now these are universal among all lynx tribes. Three lines across the back of the hand represent claw marks, the sign of a hunter. Only a handful in the tribe have this tattoo. And now, so do you. An impressive feat for a scatterbrained human. What? Well, teasing you has become like breathing to me. Hmm? How'd I know about the Ola leaves? Well, my dad taught me about them when I received my fang tattoos when I was younger. He in turn learned them from my mom. Yeah, I've never mentioned her before. Well, she passed shortly after I was born. It's okay, you had no way of knowing. And I'm okay, really. Even though I've never met her, my father made sure I knew her. He told me how she loved spending time on the river fishing and swimming. At first, my dad was like most lynx and avoided the river. But she eventually convinced him into a swimming lesson. <laughs> All her hard work of getting him into the water was undone after a fish bit his tail. <laughs> but later that same day, my mother brought him the very first fish that bit him earlier. That's when he fell for her. But it took him a while to share his feelings with her. He would take me here and tell me of their adventures, talks, and ultimately when he finally confessed his love to her. Despite his ears being teary, he always had this brilliant smile when he talked about her. <clears throat> uh, so what about you, Huntsman? You haven't once told me about your family. Come to think of it, no one in the village acted like they were related to you. You weren't born in the village? Oh, well, then where did you come from? Hmm. Raised by your uncle in the highlands to the north, hmm. Is he a huntsman as well? <laughs> that explains how you came by your trade. He must be quite skilled if he's the lead hunter for a king. They're like mares of mares, right? Was the lead hunter. What happened? Huntsman, are you okay? You look... sad. Are you sure? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Okay, if opening up helps, then I'm here for you. A white stag! No wonder the king was so desperate to pursue it. Why was your uncle hesitant to follow the tracks? Stag was clever enough to dash through a den of viper frogs to lose your hunting party. How did you escape those aggressive little poison spitters? Oh. So your uncle saved everyone, sacrificing himself in the process. <sighs> and in turn, the king pinned the failure of the hunt on him. 
I'm so sorry, Huntsman. You saw your uncle die a hero, yet get dishonored by the very king whose foolishness cost him his life. You made the right decision leaving that kingdom. I don't think I've ever seen you cry before. I hope I didn't overstep by hugging you. Hey, hey, there's no need to apologize. And you're not weak, breaking down. It takes strength opening up and letting a friend in to help. That's what you've done for me. I'm just happy I can return the favor. <laughs> of course you've helped me. Here, remember this? I wouldn't have this amber necklace if it weren't for you. I wouldn't have made friends in the village or even be welcome there if not for you. And don't get me started on the Nidhogg. That thing was far too mean and ugly to fight alone. No. All of that wasn't nothing. Everything that you've done means the world to me because... Because you're the first person since my father who's helped me accomplish what I set out to do without once asking for something in return. You're brave, selfless, caring, and supportive. All this is why I started having... Well, oh, Ray, you really stuck your paw in your mouth now. You might as well say it. Look, I... I... I have feelings for you. Serious feelings. And there's the smirk. That smirk! That vexing, infuriating smug... Wait. You have feelings for me. But, but you get all red in the face when I get close and touch you. Your face got beat right after I kissed you. You did too! The elder said that's a sign of discomfort amongst humans. What? So, it's called blushing. And it can also indicate romantic feelings. Your species is weird. Hmm. You know, this river has a knack for bringing couples together in the most awkward way. So, Hunter, where do we go from here? A kiss, huh? <laughs> Are you going to blush again? Just shut up and come closer. I guess this is where it was all leading. That's... That's the hell of a shadow wolf. The village. Come, Huntsman. There's not a moment to lose. 